The Winton Wetlands is unique in many ways. Its dark landscape, its controversial history, and its ability to represent different things to different people sets it apart from any other wetland system in the world. Indigenous people had called this place Macoan since ancient times. In the 1830s, it became known as Macoan Swamp. In the 1950s, it was renamed Winton Swamp, following the surveying of the nearby township of Winton. By the 1860s, European farming and agricultural practices had become well established across its landscape. In 1865, the European population in the Winton Swamp was over 300. In the late 19th century, the giant natural bowl of Winton Swamp was identified as a potential reservoir that could supply irrigators and support increased agriculture in the lower Goulburn and Broken Valleys. Discussion about water storage began as early as 1885. Public estimates of the cost of such a scheme were high and rival opinions raged about the prospective success or failure of such a proposal, particularly for flood mitigation. In 1961, the State Rivers and Water Supply Commission proposed that the Broken River be connected via a channel to Winton Swamp, creating a large off-river water storage. 16 homesteads and farms were identified for acquisition and another 51 landholders required to give up some portion of their land to create the lake and inlet channel. The construction of Lake McCohen cost $8.9 million and was built between 1967 and 1971. The dam wall, which is still in place today apart from a single breach, is over 10 metres high, over 47 metres in width at its base, 6.7 metres wide on top and 7.5 kilometres long. The inundation of the wetlands in the McCohen complex resulted in the death of an estimated 200,000 trees with 150,000 of these being river red gums. The new lake was officially opened in October 1971 and quickly became a popular recreation destination for fishing and boating enthusiasts. Many stories are still recalled of the big fish caught in the lake, not to mention the ones that got away. After filling naturally in 1974 to 75, Lake McCohen dropped to 5% of its capacity in the drought of 1982 to 83 and dried out completely in 2009. Being shallow across most of its vast surface area, the lake became prone to blue-green algal outbreaks from 1985 onwards. By 1999, the state government was seeking environmental water flows to aid the ailing Snowy River. All water storages were reviewed and Lake McCohen was not highly valued as a water storage in 2001 reports. In 2004, the state government finally announced that Lake McCohen would be decommissioned. This decision was met with a great deal of community opposition. The lake was seen by many as a highly valued local asset that delivered significant economic and social benefits to the region. For a large number of people, the sense of loss and despair that accompanied the original inundation was raw once again. The decommissioning of the lake was completed in 2010 and the 8,750 hectare Winton Wetlands Reserve established. The history of the wetlands has certainly seen struggles, tragedy and triumph. The next chapter in the history of the Winton Wetlands is well underway. We invite you to explore the wetlands and discover what makes this particular piece of northeast Victoria so unique. Winton Wetlands. Renew. Connect. Discover.